Hey, what's up guys? Tactaholics out here at the range. Now, some of our followers have been commenting on one of our most popular videos yet, which is the SIG P320. We have our P320 carry model out here, and what they were saying is, is the gun very susceptible to limp wristing? Now, we know that guns like Glocks and Springfield XDs and M&Ps are incredibly durable and can really take a beating, but particularly speaking about the Glocks, they are a little bit picky when it comes to things like limp wristing. So giving that gun too much space up in the tang area that allows that energy to transfer the gun back in your hand as opposed to having a nice high grip that allows the energy to simply move the slide while we keep the frame under control with a good shooting grip can easily jam a semi-automatic handgun really of any type. So what we're going to do is we loaded up some number of rounds in this magazine and we're going to go ahead and just work our way slowly down the grip until we find a place where the P320 malfunctions or maybe it won't. Let's go ahead. As you can see, I'm going to start right here with a nice, appropriate shooting grip. Nice and high on the back of the gun. There we go. Okay, we're going to work our way down a little bit more. Now we got about a half inch of space there. I'm still hanging on fairly firm with these fingers, but there is a lot more room for that gun to move. Let's go ahead and try that out. Still nothing yet. Let's go ahead and go even lower. Now I'm down to just two fingers on the grip. This feels really weird. I missed the target. That's my bad, but still the gun is cycling. We're going to go ahead and just barely hang on to the bottom of the gun here. This gun is ultra forgiving with limp wristing, even though it does have a high bore access, very high compared to the Glock, uh, which is one of the downfalls of really any SIG platform. This thing continues to scream no matter what we do to our grip. Awesome gun. Thanks for the question, guys. We never quit.